Without further ado, here we go with NXT. And uh, I'm not even going to tell. Okay, before it matches, before we start it, I'm going to try to run down the card. Adam Cole, he's he wants to call somebody out. I don't know who he wants to call out, but remember, he's North American champion. So he he knows who's going to call out. Then we got uh, the tag team champions, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish from the Speed of the Era. They're fighting a non-title match, Extreme Rules match, against... The War Raiders, the the debut in War Raiders here in NXT, uh, an Extreme Rules match. The War Raiders said they only they would only fight Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish in an Extreme Rules match just to prove that they are dominant. And hey, if they beat the Undisputed Era, they could win for the tag team titles. And then we got a, a United Kingdom Championship match. Our champion Pete Dunne fighting Danny Birch, with only Logan on Danny Birch's side, of course. But, uh, you know, you know uh, United Kingdom action here. Danny Burch challenges for Pete Dunne for the United Kingdom Championship. This should be a good match. Then we got Ray M Raul Mendoza versus Ricochet in a one-on-one -on -one match. That should be a good match. Then we got Aleister Black. He also wants to call out somebody. He says he, uh, he, um, he has something in mind of who he wants to call out. He, remember, he's a champion. He's got to defend his title at the next takeover against Pete Dunne, the United Kingdom Champion. If Pete Dunne loses the title, he could be going against Alistair Black titleless. But what? So this should be interesting. And then our main event, we got an eight-woman tag team mayhem match. Meaning, guys, it's false count anywhere. Elimination style. Which means, now here, this is what the implications of this match means. The winning team, or rather I should say, the remaining members of the winning team, if it's more than one person remaining, if there's more than one sole survivor on the team remaining, the remaining team will face off next week in a number one contendership match to see who faces Shannon Blazer at takeover for the NXT Women's Championship. If there's only one woman left, in this match, then she will be the number one contender for the women's title. So, this is a big match right now. We got Nikki Cross, Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai, and Tony Storm teaming up to face Candice LeRae, Carrie Zane, Lacey Evans, and Vanessa Bourne. So, remember, it's this match is not just being a team. You also want to survive. Because if you survive, you are guaranteeing yourself at least a number one contendership match for next week. But if you're the sole survivor of your team, then you are the number one contender for the women's title. So it's a huge match. Tag Team Mayhem. That's why it's called a Tag Team Mayhem. Anything can happen. Who knows? Let's get right down to it. And here we go. Adam Cole, he wants to call somebody out. I don't know who he wants to call out. I mean, he's the North American champion. He has every right to call anyone out. Maybe his next challenger. Who knows? On the speed of air, I've been running rock shot, rough shot all over NXT lately. Here comes Adam Cole. Who is he? Oh, I don't know why they have dailies. So, I guess we have some technical difficulty in the back. Daly's not even in the next team. He hasn't been in the next team. She hasn't been in the next team in years. Who does Adam Cole want to talk, call out? Oh, 
I don't call feels like some people are doubting him. Some people are saying he's not the best, even though he's the North American champion. Oh, he's calling out a friend, he says. Who, who, who was his friend? He's saying this person's calling out was his, it's his friend. <gasps> no way! He's calling, Adam Col is calling out Ricochet. Adam Cole says Ricochet is his friend, and he's calling him out for competition to prove that he is the best. I mean, Ricochet is known as the one and only, and a lot of people regard Ricochet as one of the best in the business today. And of course, a lot of people can argue Adam Cole is one of the best in the business today. And this, if this happens, if this match happens, this will be an incredible match. Adam Cole and Ricochet. What does Ricochet have to say about this? Uh oh, Ricochet trying to get in the, the head of Adam Cole. Trying to goof off a little bit. Oh, Adam Cole did not like that. He's trying to be serious here. He's trying to call Adam Cole out friend to friend, I guess, and challenge him to a match, but he didn't like how Ricochet just played around with that. Oh, Ricochet, he doesn't seem to take, be taking this serious. He's just running down at him, Cole. Does Ricochet even think Adam Cole's on his level? Ricochet needs to, I know he's considered one of the best, but he needs to get ahead of the game because Adam Cole is one of the best as well. Oh, Ricochet said he's the measuring stick here, and Adam Cole is smart to challenge him. But it may not end up the way Adam Cole thinks it will. Oh, now Adam Cole is not liking how Ricochet is saying the, the, the damn mind games, the fool around, the disrespect. Adam Cole came out here trying to challenge Ricochet, though. Imagine Ricochet. Totally disrespecting Adam Cole. Adam Cole's trying to prove a point here, trying to prove that he's the best and all the natures are wrong. Oh, Ricochet. Oh, now Ricochet. Ricochet's challenging Adam Cole. He says, hey, let's fight tonight. Ricochet's now getting serious. Oh, now Adam Cole's seeing it. The baby Adam Cole lit a fire on the ricochet. Now Adam Cole's kind of getting into the ricochet's head. Oh, now he's calling. He just called ricochet trash. So he's going to throw him out in the WWE. Now these two are getting serious. Now they're mean in business. And this is what we want. We want them to be serious. We want them to go out and try to 100%. Oh, Adam Cole, that's all he has to say. He called out Ricochet saying he wants to fight him to prove that he's the best. Ricochet was not having it at first, was just fooling around, making, making the game out of it. And then 
finally they got serious, man. I don't know. We have to talk to the gen uh, general manager. See if this match will happen. And our next match, Extreme Rules match, Kyle O'Reilly and Pete Bobby Fish, the tag team champions in a non-title Extreme Rules match against the War Raiders. War Raiders debuting here tonight. Could you imagine if the War Raiders win here tonight? The War Raiders win here. They could earn themselves a tag team title shot. Yeah, this is this should be an interesting match. Last week, the undisputed era were able to win against uh, Forty Lorcan and Bobby Birch, but this is a totally different. This is a totally different team. War Raiders, of course. War Raiders, of course, dominant in Japan. Now have come to NXT. To continue their dominance. Let's see what will happen here. Here they come, the NXT Tag Team Champions. Wait, what's this? The War Raiders are not wasting any time. Going straight for the champs. This is the Extreme Rules match. It's supposed to be Extreme Rules match, but the War Raiders are not wasting any time here tonight. Oh, Hansen just taking out both members of the Undisputed Era. Oh, but now they're just going to back Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, a huge body slam, but no. This is pure chaos right now. The War Raiders were not wasting any time here tonight. They wanted to prove a point, get a message across. They don't care about winning. They just wanted to make a, send a message to not only the tag team champions, but the entire tag team division. Oh, it's over. The ref had to call the match off, looks like. Oh, no, they're still going. Guess they're saying because the extreme rules might as well start the match now. Oh, the title belt. Oh, Colorado get hit in the back of the head with the title belt. Here, chaos. Bobby Fish. These two teams are not. I don't think that speed error were playing it. They never, they were expecting this. They're usually the ones attacking teams and assaulting teams from behind and getting the upper hand. But no, the War Raiders taking it right to them. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Huge. Oh, I rank. Oh, but that speed of error, man. He's trying to get back in this. Oh, DDT on the steel. My goodness. Uh, there we go. We're heading towards the ring now. Remember, this stream rules. Anything goes. So I guess this is the ref that could just, the ref said this is perfectly legal to attack before the match even started. Remember, we didn't really hear a bell, so I don't, maybe the match didn't start, but who knows. Oh no, pulling out a table now. Oh, but now the speed of air is trying to take over. They're finally taking one of the War Raiders. No, oh, now Kyle Ryan. 
Oh, maybe the oh, lift him up. Oh my goodness! The gorilla slam. Oh Jesus! Kicks. Just throwing him across the ring. Oh, Bobby Fish getting tossed across as well. My goodness. This is not looking good for the undisputed error. It's getting dominating here. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Riley, Kyle Ray was not seeing that, did not see that coming at all. Oh no, Falcon Arrow by Bobby Fish. Oh Jesus, these two teams, Dream Rules, and it goes, and now in the speed of error, isolating Hounson, Hounson of course. Look at, it. oh Jesus, a kick in the Bulldog. Could this be it? Oh, another kick. Knocking Hudson out. Could this be it? No, kick out barely. Hudson able to kick out barely. Rowe, Raymond Rowe. Rowe is here. He's, he's helping his buddy out. Oh, another cover. No, a kick out. Hey, Undisputed Era trying to end this. That's smart. The quicker they can end this, the better. Because I feel the longer this match goes on, it favors the War Raiders. Oh, no, looking at that arm. Oh, what's going on with Kyle O'Reilly? Kyle O'Reilly jumping. Oh, huge fist to the face and a drop kick. Kick out. That's right. Oh, breaking that up. Oh no, what's Bobby got playing here? Oh, kick to his gut. Another kick. Oh, pull a sledgehammer. Wait, he's looking. Kyle Wright did not want a sledgehammer. He's looking for something else. Oh, he brought a ladder. A ladder, folks. Oh, jeez. Not looking good. Oh, can we see a tap out? Oh my goodness, a tap out! The War Raiders tapped out! I can't believe it! The undisputed air somehow pulled off the victory! Can't believe it. I don't know what happened, but the War Bears looking like they came out strong, but then it was the undisputed error proving why they're the tag team champions, making the War Bears tap out. I can't believe it. Undisputed error dominating in, the, in that team division. Can there, can there be any team that beats them? But I don't think this is over. I mean, the War Bears came out. They attacked it from behind. They were beating them down, it looked like. And as soon as they got in the ring, it just it was all undisputed error. The technical prowess. But I don't think this is over by a long shot. There we go. United Kingdom title on the line. Pete Dunn versus Danny Burch and only Loki, of course, not the ringside for Danny Burch, supporting his partner. This should be an interesting match. T title on the line. The United Kingdom title on the line. Pete Dunne, one of the longest reigning champions in WWE in today.
Here we go, folks. Jojo running down that this is a title match for the United Kingdom Championship. Big fight feel here, guys. Bertrand Lurkin, of course, fought the Unspeed of the Air last week, did not win, but put up a good show in. But now maybe Danny Birch can win some gold anyway. He could win the United Kingdom Championship here tonight. Maybe that will put them back in the right track. Here it comes, but here comes the United Kingdom champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, arguably one of the most brutal and vicious wrestlers here in the WWE. There he is with the title. Keep them proud to be an United Kingdom champion. That's what he's here for. He doesn't care about pretty much, he doesn't care about much. But that title is something he does care about. He cares that with pride. Introducing the uh, challenger. It's a big member. We still got, we still got that main event tonight. Danny Birch gets introduced, and Pete Dunn's next. But we got still got that big eight-woman tag team mayhem match where the winning team or the winner, the sole survivor, will earn a number one contendership. The member, the, the winning team, the remaining members of the winning team will face off in a number one contendership match next week to see who fights Shane and Blazer for the women's title at TakeOver, the next TakeOver. Or the sole survivor, if there's only one woman left in this match, she will become the number one contender. But right now, we got United Kingdom action, United Kingdom Championship on the line. Can Pete Dunne retain, or will Danny Butch become the new champion of the United Kingdom. A lot riding in the line in this match. Pete Dunne grabbing Danny Burke with a suplex. Oh, and stomping away. Pete Dunne does not waste time. Danny Burke reverses that. Only Lurkin cheering on his partner and his friend. You know, those two have an interesting history together. What started off as ground and pound and went ground and pound and Pete Dunne started off as a fierce rivalry between Danny Burt and Oni Lorcan has turned into a friendship. I mean, remember that who can forget their matches back and forth, going training and wins and losses, and then they decided to work together when Lars came and inv got involved. Now they're just, they're becoming a, not only just the big tag team in the NXT division, but Best, probably the, one of the best friends. I mean, like, oh, Danny Burch is just taking to Pete Dunne. He's trying to pound away at Pete Dunne. Normally we see Pete Dunne with the brutality, but Danny Danny Burch is no, no slouch when it comes to violence and brutality. There we go, another suplex. Oh, that really rocked Danny Birch. 
Whip it to the, oh, he comes out of the ropes and another suplex. He's working on that bat. Is Pete Dunn, is Pete Dunn purposely targeting the back or does he know something that we don't know about Danny Birch? Oh, just throws him out of the ring. Now he's just taunting him. Pete Dunn just taunting Danny Birch. Danny Birch is getting counted out. Oh, the refs holding Danny Pete Dunn back. They do not interfere. Oh, oh. oh there we go. And the more ground and pound. Danny Birch just trying to hammer away at Pete Dunn. More ground and pound just hammering away. He's going to bust him open if he keeps doing that. Maybe that's what he wants to do. Just pound it away. This is a brawl right now, folks. Pete Dunn. I don't think Pete Dunn was ready for this. Pete Dunn may have underestimated Danny Birch here tonight. What's I said? A huge body splash. Of course, Pete Dunn has that finisher maneuver, that bitter end. Uh oh. What's this? I'll leave into the corner. He's done. Not to, oh, Danny Bird pushing away. Oh, elbow to the face. Uh oh. Falcon arrow. No, oh, suplex. Good. Danny Birch is not relenting with these rights and lefts. He's trying to bust up Pete Dunn. Look at Pete Dunn's have to cover up, man. Pete Dunn, I honestly believe Pete Dunn was not prepared for this match. I think he underestimated Danny Birch. Oh, elbow! European elbow. What a vicious elbow that was. Did not see that come at all. Oh, he moved out of the way. He done moved out of the way just in time. He would have gotten that huge elbow if he didn't. Seems like him alone. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Working on another punch. Another punch. Oh, a kick to the back. Pete Dunn's in trouble here, folks. I honestly believe that. Oh, the ground and pound and loose that spread. Oh, he busted Pete Dunn open. He finally did it. After all those vicious rights and left, he got it. And it was only a matter of time. Pete Dunn is not looking that well right now. Oh, cover. Kick out. Even, not even a one. Pete Dunn. Oh, reversing that. Oh, I went for an Instagram, but missed. Oh, no, no, more. More rights and lefts. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Uh-oh, what's going on here? He's done. Oh, a clothesline. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, hit him with the elbow. What's the, the bitter end. The bitter end. Oh, but Danny Birch kicked out. Can't believe it. Danny Birch somehow surviving here, folks. Ooh, Danny. He's tough feeling here tonight. Oh, insecure. Oh. Oh, another a second bitter end. No, 
high, but what's Tony Lorcan doing? He's interfering. Pete Dunn did not like that. So for a cover again. No. Gotta believe that was it. That had to be the end. But Orny Lorcan saving his partner. Maybe. Oh. Uh, Pete Dunn hitting two bitter ends. Oh no, revert! Oh! No! Oh my goodness! Danny Burch stole! I have to say that was a upset victory. Danny Burch came out of nowhere with that. I mean, Danny Burch was dominant, yes, but towards the end, it was all Pete Dunham. I can't believe it. Danny Burch is the United Kingdom champion. Look at that bitter end. Look at that instant Gary. Another, the second bitter end. That should have, I believe that was it. But only Lorcan coming out of nowhere and saving his partner. And now Danny Burch is the United Kingdom champion. After rolling through that gorilla press. You gotta believe Pete Dunn was looking for that gorilla press. Uh, uh, European album uppercut. But Pete Dunn cannot believe it. Gotta believe this was a huge upset. I don't think anyone expected this to happen, but Danny Burge winning the United Kingdom Championship. There we go. Our 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 Earlier today, Adam Cole, earlier today, Adam Cole called out Ricochet, challenged him into a match saying that he needs to prove that he's the best by beating Ricochet. Because a lot of people said Ricochet is the best. But Ricochet, you know, first played around and said, yeah, whatever. But then he finally got serious. So we might see it. But right now, Ricochet has a match against Raul Mendoza. And Ricochet has to prove. You got to understand, now this match is more important now than ever. Because Ricochet loses, maybe there is some truth to what Adam Cole said. But if Ricochet needs to win here tonight to prove Adam Cole. I bought these for her to try. Mm -hmm. So I have an boxing match. <laughs> I'm like, it says it's peanut butter chocolate black. It's a white stuff, see? <laughs> I just think it's a nice thing to have these things. But it's going to be what? This is going to be an interesting match. Raul uh, Mendoza, of course, is no slouch, though. Do not underestimate this. As we saw last match, do not underestimate anybody here in NXT. Raul Ra Ra Mendoza could easily play the spoiler here tonight. Beating Ricochet and totally, would totally destroy the whole Adam Cole versus Ricochet myth. Of course, that's a lot, that's a lot to ask of this young man. Ricochet is known as one of the greats here. Not only in NXT and the WWE, but all over the world. This man has gone everywhere, pretty much. And has dominated everywhere he's went. The one and only Ricochet. Sure, Adam Cole is watching in the back. Not only just the scout, 
and see why, how Adam Ricochet is, but just to see if Ricochet can win here tonight. I mean, you gotta believe Adam Cole wants Ricochet. I don't know if Adam Cole wants Ricochet to win or not, because if anyone anyway, look at it, he wants Ricochet at his best, so he can beat Ricochet at his best. But I think also, if Ricochet were to lose, that would make Adam Cole feel so much better, because in his mind, it would help him believe that he is better than Ricochet. Ricochet right off the bat. Oh, that float over DT. Not wasting any time getting right down to it. Oh, Mendoza, though. The code red. Oh, Ricochet had to roll out of the ring. But Ricochet getting right back in there. I think it was just the impact causing the roll out the ring. This could be, I honestly believe, if Brian Mendoza could win here, this would be probably the biggest victory of his young career. That's a tall order past the ask of Brian Mendoza. But never count anyone out here next to the, the Centon. Raul Mendoza taking it right to Ricochet. This is unbelievable. Again, this has been an unbelievable NXT so far. I mean, we had the War Raiders coming out of nowhere, just dominating the Undisputed Era to begin. But then Undisputed Era somehow able to win with that submission. And then we saw Danny Burch just win the United Kingdom Championship in a match that I believe was, I want to say it was an upset, but the way Danny Burch was fighting in that match, it was, it just, it just, it was, I just was, I don't think Pete Dunne was prepared for Danny Burch. I don't think Pete Dunne actually gave Danny Burch the respect that he d deserved. And right now, Ricochet is trying to focus on Raul Mendoza with Adam Cole in the back of his mind. Oh, said, oh, man, Raul. Raul. Another code red. Raul looking for something here. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Oh, and a snap there. Going for a cover. No, Ricochet. You have to do more than that to beat Ricochet. Raul thinking here. Oh, springboard. Body splash. Ooh. That was a nasty fall. Oh, but Ricochet right with the dragon. Screw leg whip. Ricochet telling Raul to get up. What's Ricochet have planned here? Oh, he's drop kick. Missile drop kick. He nip, hips up. Going for a cover. Oh, working in that head. Oh, oh, but Raul's getting out. Oh, body slam. Front slam, actually, excuse me. Oh, kick to the face. What's this? Captured suplex. Ricochet feeling it right now. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Uh oh. Get the corner. Oh, a huge splashing clothesline. Uh oh. Oh, ducking. Dunk. Oh. Jumping clothesline. Wow, oh, Mendoza may be in trouble here. Ricochet. What's Ricochet got here? Oh. Northern Light suplex, but no, he's not done picking him up. It's a huge suplex. Northern Light suplex suplex combination. Oh, but Raul Mendoza fighting out of it. Oh. Oh, what's. What? Oh, back and forth. 
It's too good. Oh, what's it? Oh, back and forth again. Elbow to the face. Oh, belly to back suplex. A huge belly to back suplex. Watch Ricochet. He's going up to the top. Going off. 630. That's got to be it. And it is. Raul Mendoza put on a good fight. He gave it all he had, but Ricochet was just too much. And Ricochet is victorious here tonight. And he got it. Oh, what's this? Oh, Ricochet showing respect for Raul Mendoza. Saying, yeah, you can put up a good fight, but now they're shaking hands. Look at that. That's sportsmanship. Ricochet respects his opponents. He respects competition. You got to believe Adam Cole was watching in the back. And you gotta believe, you gotta, I wonder what Adam Cole's reaction to that was. To see Ricochet win. Oh, Aleister Black, of course, coming out here tonight. He's our NXT champion. What does he have to say about everything that's going on here tonight? Who does he have in mind? Is he gonna call somebody out? Is he just gonna say that he's champion? Remember, Pete Dunn, who lost the United Kingdom Championship, is the number one contender for the NXT Championship to Aleister Black. He won that huge battle royal last week to earn a shot at Aleister Black in the NXT title at TakeOver. I wonder what Aleister Black has to say now that Pete Dunne is no longer the United Kingdom Champion. Does that play in any in the mind of Aleister Black at all? Aleister Black have to stay. Oh, Aleister Black's here to psych the crowd. He's saying he's here to, to bring some excitement. I don't know. NXT has been pretty excited here tonight. But it's always good to see Aleister Black back on an NXT show. Oh, is kindness mistaken for weakness? People are saying he's been underestimated. He's champion. If people are underestimating Alex Black, that is just a foolish thing to do. If people are underestimating him. Oh, he just called out Pete Dunne. He said, let's have the match here tonight. Is he going to put the title on the line here tonight? Are we going to have an NXT Championship match here tonight? Pete Dunne just lost the match. I mean, that could, that could be something for Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne, because he just lost the United Kingdom Championship. If he were to win the NXT Championship here tonight, that might actually make him feel better. Pete Dunne have to say here. He must not feel it. I mean, he is must be a lot on his mind to losing that title. Run your oh, Pete Dunne saying, "I'm not gonna let you run your mouth. I'm setting the record straight here tonight." Oh, Pete Dunne must be feeling frustrated. This must be frustration setting him from losing the title. Danny Burch. Oh, Alistair Black is ready. He's pumped for this. He's like, yes, Pete Dunne's out here. Let's have some fun. Let's get this going. Oh, Pete Dunne's not having it, Alistair Black. He's saying, I'm going to shut your mouth if you keep talking. Pete Dunne is clearly frustrated. This is this has to be frustration from when he lost to Danny Burch because I, I mean Pete Dunne is just fired up. He's Alistair Black said he'll put down anybody. You wanna you wanna come and challenge me? You wanna cut in my face? I'll put you down just like anybody. Cause I am the best. He's the NXT champion.
Oh, Pete Dunn is salting out for Black. Pete Dunn is not in the mood here today. He's not here to play games. He's not here to be called out. He lost the title. You know, he can't tell me. That was pissed. He is not in the mood. Alistair Black is not backing down. He's not phased by Pete Dunn's attitude. He is not threatened or, imitated or uh, intimidated by Pete Dunn. Which is something to say because a lot of people, you, they face Pete Dunn, they are intimidated. And he's an intimidating man. But Alistair Black not backing down. Pete Dunn is laying it thick on Alistair Black. Basically calling and saying he's not a superstar. He's, he's a... Oh, see? Alistair Black, is, he can see right through it. He can clearly see that Pete Dunn's frustrated from losing that keen of time. Saying, look, this ain't you. This is not how you are. I respect you and all. But he, apparently he called off the match. Saying, that, look, you're way too frustrated for us to fight. Look, he said, he's all, he, look, we're not going to have the match here tonight. Black just said, called off the match. Saying that Pete Dunn's way too frustrated, way too high-headed to have a match here tonight. He wants Pete Dunn at his best. He wants to beat Pete Dunn when Pete Dunn's the most clear-headed, level-headed of, of the moment. And right now, that's not Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn just lost the United Kingdom Championship. Clearly, Pete Dunn is not thinking straight. Clearly, Pete Dunn is too frustrated to have a match. And that's what Black can see that. So I guess we're not having an NXT Championship match here tonight. We're gonna have it. We're definitely gonna have it at Takeover, no matter what. And here we go, our main event here tonight: Tag Team Mayhem, eight woman tag team mayhem. Member, it's elimination. It's falls count anywhere, and the winning team. The survivor members of the winning team, or if we only have one woman surviving, that surviving woman will become number one contender for Shannon Blazers NXT Women's Championship. If we have remaining team members, they will face off next week in a number one contendership match for the title. So we got Nikki Cross, Tony Storm, Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai teaming up to face Carrie Zane, Candice LeRae, Lacey Evans, and Vanessa Board. And the winning team, the surviving members, will earn a number one contendership match next week. If there's only one woman left surviving, she will be named the number one contender. And you gotta believe Shannon Blaze is watching this in the back because she has eight potential challengers to her title. And any one of these women can easily become a champion if they win here tonight. Here comes the code of Kai. Dakota Kai, part of Team Kick, the captain of Team Kick. She's had some run-ins with Shannon Blazer, as we saw before. N wasn't successful, but she has had some run-ins with Shannon Blazer. And you know, she's she must be chomping the bits to have to challenge Shannon Blazer for the title. To have you know, one more opportunity. What do we have next? Coming out next, the fans of XT waiting patiently. Oh. Bianca Belair. The EST of NXT. Basically what that means, she says she's the greatest, the fastest, the smartest, the best. 
of NXT. Pretty much any word you could think of. Put the EST in the back, in the front, back, and behind it, and that's her. The greatest, the best, the fastest, the strongest, whatever. And if she wins here tonight, you gotta believe that she's she she definitely wants to become the NXT Women's Champion. So she can say she is truly the best of NXT. comes Tony Storm. Tony Storm is no she's no uh, rookie in here. She uh, of course the Mae Young Classic. She was part of that. She might be part of the Mae Young Classic too. Who knows if we end up having it here next day. But uh, she definitely part of the, the UK division. The, the New Zealander Part of that new, of course, there's rumors of talking about the branch off of NXT, having the NXT UK division. And if that's true, Tony Storm, even though she's New Zealand, she would make a perfect fit in that new division. But right now, she wants an NXT Women's Championship title shot. Good, speaking of NXT Women's title shots, Nikki Cross coming out here. Of course, her, her, her men, her, her boys from Sanity are on SmackDown now. Of course, she's staying here in NXT because she says she wants that women's title. She's not leaving NXT. So she has become women's champion. And that is something that has eluded her for so long. Of course, her fights with Alexandre, uh, excuse me, her fights with Asuka. Who can forget those matches? The Fatal 4 of course, and then the last man standing with Asuka. Nikki Cross looking for that women's title. Nikki Cross is looking to become champion. Of course, she wants Shayna Baszler. She's not afraid of Shayna Baszler. She said that she's not afraid of Shayna Baszler. That she will face her head on and take her on any way she has to. She'll. If I was Shayna Baszler, if all the women in this match. I would not want to fight Nikki Cross. Not only because Nikki Cross is, can probably fight Shannon Blazer toe to toe and go broad face to fist and kick to kick, but Nikki Cross is unpredictable. She's, a, she's for lack of a better word, insane. You can never, you never predict what Nikki Cross is going to do. I don't think even Nikki Cross knows what she's doing half the time. And that is just a, a formula for madness and greatness as well. Up next is Carrie Zane, the pirate princess. To round out this team. Excuse me, not to round out this team, but they start the next team. Of course, Carrie Zane is no stranger to Shannon Blazer either. Remember, Carrie Zane beat Shannon Blazer at the uh, May Young Classic to become the May Young Classic winner. But last week, she fought Shannon Blazer in the one on one match. In the, on a rematch of the Mae Young Classic, Shannon Blazer, even though Carrie Zane put up a fight, Shannon Blazer was able to win, pulling out the fifth with that chill coat of hers. Carrie Zane had no choice but to tap out. Of course, Carrie Zane, want, you know she has to want that ma rematch, that rubber match between them. And she couldn't get that by winning here tonight.
XD waiting on. Who's next? Candice LeRae. The wife of Johnny Gargano. She's looking to create her own legacy here in NXT. Dasha just doesn't want to be known as the wife of Johnny Gargano. She wants to be known as Candice LeRae. And she also wants to be known as NXT Women's Champion. Of course, her nickname is known as the Toughest Cupcake. I guess that means she's sweet and kind, and but she's also a badass. I don't quite understand that Toughest Cupcake uh, nickname, but I guess if it works for her, it works for me. Evans Lacey Evans of course says she's a proper lady the the lady of NXT she's here to bring sophistication and properness to NXT former former marine Knows what it means to fight hard and fight with all your heart and passion and give it all you got. And if she were to fight Shannon Blazer, I think she would give Shannon Blazer a run for her money. Probably even taking that title. Here we go. With Vanessa Bourne. Of course, Vanessa Bourne winning that triple threat match last week. Uh, shockingly, against Lacey Evans and Bianca Belair. Of course, she would love to have NXT Women's title shot as well. And why not? I mean, she, was, she has momentum on her side right now. Could be the, the dark horse in this match, Vanessa Warren. But of course, it's tag team action right now. Tag team action. As a, Dakota Kai carries in, kick this off. Carries in, Dakota Kai going at it. Dakota Kai reversed it. Thrown over DDT by Kerry Zane. Remember, it's elimination. Falls count anywhere. Chancellor Ray coming in. Double team action. Oh, a double backbreaker. Oh, should be backstabber. See, this match, you want to win with your team, but you also want to survive. The only surviving members get a number one contendership match. If you're the sole survivor, you get a number one contendership match automatically. I mean, excuse me, you get the uh, number, you become number one contender automatically. Oh, a little rope-a-dope there, trying to fool Candice Lorraine. What's the code of Cali? Oh, tag it in. Bianca Belair. Oh, looking for her to no, got alley hoop into the ropes. Bianca Belair, oh, picking her up. Oh. Stomping away, Candice LeRae. 
Here comes Tony Storm, the New Zealander. Excuse me, from Australia, not the Dakota Kai is from New Zealand. Oh, Carrie Zane tuck, uh, begging for the tag, and she gets it. See, Kenzo Ray was in trouble right now. Carrie Zane's on fire. Carrie Zane does not want to lose this match. Want Shane and Blazer. Harry Zane what going hard, working hard. And Tony Storm stomping away. Oh, what's this? Alabama slam, baby? Yes! Kicking out. What a huge elbow that was. Oh, but Vanessa Bourne tagging in Lacey Evans. It's Lacey. Oh, oh, they're 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 tagging Karen Zane. It's they don't know. It's I don't know what that was. I guess it's just mind games. Tony Storm with the hurricane around I mean head scissors. Take down what she Oh, here comes Bianca Belair. Nikki Cross has not seen any action so far. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, looking for that suplex, but Carrie Zane, oh, fighting out of it. Russian leg sweep. There he's in. Oh, knees to the oh, head. Oh, my goodness. Vicious knees. Just taking it to Bianca Belair. Oh, my goodness. Bianca Belair rolling through with the reverse DDT. There he's in. Oh, fighting back, though. Going for a suplex. No! Front suplex. Slam her to the mat. Oh, look, both Nikki Cross and Tony Storm are looking for a tag. But Carrie Zane's stopping it. Lacey Evans coming in. Lacey Evans, the lady of NXT. Right to Bianca Belair. She said if she becomes NXT Women's Champion, she's gonna bring a, a spot of sophistication and and showing and she'll show the NXT Women's Division how to actually be a proper lady. Bianca Belair, oh, but Lacey Evans. Oh, kicking Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans getting pulled and dragged. Oh, but Lacey Evans fighting out of it. I think Brown Cabello is going to drag Lacey Evans to her corner, but Lacey Evans fighting out of it. No one seeing sense of that. Oh, that's Brown Cabello. Oh, tripping her down. Uh oh. Single leg boss the crab. This could be it. This is a mission hole. This could be a tap out. And Lacey Evans fighting out of it, kicking the Brown Cabello out of the way. Oh, what's this? Wheelbarrow. Oh, the slammer to the mat. That wheelbarrow slam. Lacey Evans whipping her to a corner now. Oh, but Bianca Bear fighting out of it. Oh, she got punched from Nessa Boone. Nessa Boone with a cheap shot trying to save her partner and her team. Oh, 
for a spear, but missed. But Lacey Evans reversed it to a DT. Swing and neck break by Lacey Evans. Hey, Yard Yard, how you, how's it going? Lacey Evans, oh, jumping arm breaker. Bianca Belair, oh, working that arm. Here comes Tony Storm coming in. We haven't seen Nikki Cross at all enter this match. I wonder if the team doesn't trust her or they just afraid of her. I don't know. Maybe maybe they're using her as a secret weapon. She gets Lacey Evans gets hung up the on dry the ropes. I'm doing great. I'm doing wonderful. We're, we're streaming uh, NXT right now. Ooh, Lacey Evans, that hard right. That could be it. She calls it the women's right. It's Tony Storm kicking out though. We're in our main event of NXT. Remember, this is a tag team mayhem match. Means elimination, no disqualification. The winner, the winning team of this match, the remaining members of the winning team will become, will face off against each other in a number one contendership match next week to see who faces Shannon Blazer at TakeOver for the NXT Women's title. If there's only one sole survivor on the team in, in this match, she automatically becomes the number one contender. Carries it all. Huge driver. Oh, Dakota Kai breaking it up. That's smart. She does not want her team to fall four to three. Because whoever does, the, th that team will have the advantage. Tony Storm, stuff and went, carries Zane. Of course, if he missed NXT so far, Pete Dunne lost the United Kingdom Championship to Danny Burch in a huge, I would say, huge upset. Adam Cole calling out Ricochet. Ricochet saying, you want to fight me, we'll fight but not right now. The War Raiders attack uh, Undisputed Error. The Undisputed Error were able to win that Extreme Rules match in submission. But Kerry Zane setting up Tony Storm something. Oh, a spear! Could this be it? Oh, but Tony Storm. Nikki Cross looked like she was going to come in and break it up, but then she stopped. Maybe she doesn't want Tony Storm to win. Maybe she feels like, hey, I can take all four of these women all by myself. And I can become the number one contender. I mean, this is this match is it's mayhem. There's a whole bunch of strategies and stuff going on. I mean, do you want your team to win? And if of course you want your team to win, but do you want your teammates to win with you? I mean, if all four of your members of your team win, that means you're gonna have a fatal four way next week for the number one contendership for the women's title. I don't know if you want that. Oh, jumping tornado DDT. Going for a cover, but it's too close to the corner. Dakota Kai able to break it up. At the same time, you want your teammates in this match to help you win. A lot going on in this match. A lot, a lot of scheme and a strategy play in this in this match. Oh, what's Candice LeRae thinking? Here? Oh! Another suplex. Trifecta right there. The only describe as a crotchplex. Cancel Ray going for the cover on Tony Storm. Oh! Dakota Kai was looking for the looking to break that up, but Vanessa Morton wisely coming in with the drop toe hold and Dakota Kai rolled out of the ring. Looks like Nikki Cross is legal. Now it's a four to three match as Tony Storm is eliminated. Some good teamwork. I'm telling you, Candice LeRae and her team are having shown a lot of teamwork here in this match, which is smart. Uh, it's the mission hold. But Nikki Cross easily kicking out. Get out of there. Oh, uh, looking for a hurricane Rana. Nikki Cross. 
Lamner to the corner. Tagging it back to Belair. Picking her up. Oh, off the ropes. Reverse suplex. Gut wrench. Deadlift gut wrench. Suplex. Tony Stump just now getting up. She just realized she's eliminated. Another one. Going strong. Bonka Belair. Taking it two. Vanessa Moore trying to help a partner again, but missed. Now going for a cover. Oh, using the ropes. Ref does not see it. But Candice LeRae able to kick out anyway. Oh, oh, what was that? Drop kick to the knee, but missed. Looked like she missed. Bernanke Belair, uh-oh. Power slam, oh, no, but no. Reverse it to reverse DDT. Jerry Zane pumping up the crowd. Crowd kick to the back. Not looking good for Bernanke Belair and her team. Oh, what's this, a moonsaw, standing moonsaw. Oh, head scissors. Oh, but Candice LeRae fighting back. Going for a suplex, but Bianca Belair, no, slipping through. Bianca Belair slipping through. Oh, dub on the hook, chicken wing, oh! Chicken wing slam. Oh, what's Bianca Belair, she's going to the top, wait. Oh, no, wait. Vanessa Moore was looking for the tag, and Bianca Belair saw that, decided against it. Now working that leg, the leg DDT. Now going for a cover. No, but kicking out at one. Down to Belair, setting up Candice LeRae for something. Maybe a power up, but no, Candice LeRae throwing out of it for arm drag. Going for a cover. Down to Belair, kick it out. Another reverse DT? Yes. This is not looking good for Bianca Belair. Well, of course, I say that she reverses that maneuver and hits him with the elbow. I've seen before our freshman leg sweep. Oh, Tony Storm tagging in. I've been seeing the kids already tagging in. Vanessa Bourne and Nikki Cross coming in as well. Oh, drop kick. Vanessa Bourne. No drop kick. Another one. Trifecta. That's Bourne going up. Jump and a splash. Nikki Cross fighting out of it though. Uh oh, what's this? Nikki Cross, she has her up, but what, what's she doing? Oh, but that's the Bourne fighting out of it. Oh, what's the fit? Oh no! Nikki Cross taking her to the corner, tagging in Bianca Belair. What are these two got playing here. Back body drop. Spear by Bianca Belair. Uh oh, what's this? Oh no, it looked like an alley hoop, but Vanessa Bourne reversing it to a sunset flip. No, Bianca Belair reversed it. Oh, but kick out. That was close. Too close to call. That was almost a three. Vanessa Bourne, uh oh. Swing and neck breaker. This be it. Yeah, Kota Kai easily breaking that up. Now she's going after Vanessa Bourne, holding her down. Whipping it to the ropes, and now Candice LeRae getting involved. Oh! No, the Kota Kai accidentally hit her own partner. I don't think that she meant to. 
Going for Kansas Ray. Kansas Ray ducked out of the way. Dunk of LA took the brother that clothesline. And what's Kansas Ray doing? Oh, Rick got knocked down. What's going on? This is truly is man. The women are going crazy here tonight. They're going at it. They want they want this number one contendership opportunity. Wouldn't do anything. Oh, Bianca Belair. Oh, another spear. Kyrie Zane got tagged in through all that chaos. Lacey Evans does not like it. Alley oop. Going for a cover. Oh, a kick out. Nikki Cross. Well, these are the top eight women of NXT right now. So these eight women deserve a shot, a chance to become number one contender. Talk about that with a clothesline. So if you don't know much about NXT, this is what you need all you need to know right here. These eight women, well actually now seven women, Tony Storm got eliminated. But these these seven women are at the top of the division. Terry Zane kicking out. Of course, Shannon Blazer, the NXT Women's Champion. That's what this is all about. This match to see who gets a number one contendership opportunity. Kota Kai coming in. Oh. Oh, a kick out by Kerry Zane. Dakota Kai almost had it. Kerry Zane. Oh, roll it, roll it out. Smart maneuver by Kerry Zane. Could not get the tag inside and roll out instead. Kerry Zane with the Alabama slam on Dakota Kai. Kerry Zane measuring Dakota Kai. Spear! Did you cross? Breaking up the count. And Lacey Evans did not like it coming in and trying to help, but Nick Cross hitting her, punching her. Terry Zane whipping her to her corner. Uh oh, what's Terry Zane got playing here? Going to the top. Oh, knee to the back. Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, the lady of NXT, former Marine. Now here in NXT to prove that a woman can be a lady and be a wrestler. That you don't need to be a... Oh, going for a cover. Lacey Evans proven that you don't need to be a violent brute to be in the women's division. You can be a proper lady. Dakota Kai fighting back. Dakota Kai... Oh, right to the turnbuckle. Stomping away. Oh, choking her. Dakota Kai showing a little viciousness side to her. She knows how important this match is. Uh oh, what's Dakota Kai thing? Uh oh. Got against it. Ripping her to a corner. Bianca Belair coming in. Drop to hold. Elbow to the back. Lacey Evans immediately trying to crawl to her corner. Bianca Belair not having it. Going for a cover. No, but Lacey Evans kicking out. This match is going on for some time. These women do not want to give up. It's going to take a, something special to win this match. Nikki Cross thinking here. Nikki Cross jumping up. Big splash. Almost knee to the face even. Going for a cover. Oh, kick. Kerry Zane able to kick out. I mean, able to break up that count. But Nikki Cross attacking Kerry Zane. And that's a Kota Kai going after Kerry Zane. But Kerry Zane reversing it. Now these two women are having a match inside of a match. And a power bump with Kerry Zane. Listen, they haven't taken a Taking it to Nikki Cross. Oh, oh, Kerry Zane attacks 
That may have been costly. Oh, go for a cover. cover. This is mayhem. This truly is mayhem. Of course, Carrie Zane, and that's a legal woman. She's still fighting. The ref reprimanded her. Now, oh, right to the back. Now she's yelling at uh, Nikki Cross. Is yelling at oh, so much going on. Carrie Zane does not want to get disqualified, but man, she is. Carrie Zane kicking it. It crossed by herself. Both her partners are down. Oh, what? Swing and slam. Nikki Cross. Great, Lacey Evans looking at the Kota Kai. See the Kota Kai coming out. They don't want her in fear. What's this? Nikki Cross. Oh, the purge. And Lacey Evans is out of here. Nikki Cross even up three to three. Lacey Evans is gone. And what's this? A huge body slam. The reason why Sandy is not on SmackDown is because she says she wants to have an NXT Women's title reign. She wants that title. That's one title that's eluded her for so long. She's not going to SmackDown until she has that title in her hand. Of course, she had those bouts against Asuka. Uh, oh, nice, nice flip out by Vanessa Bourne. She's had those fights with uh, Asuka, unsuccessful, of course. And that's kind of eating her alive. Oh, a uh, back break. That's a Bourne. Sweet a neck breaker. Gotta be it. Bianca Belair breaking that up. Guy, jawbreaker, jawbreaker, and that's a boy. Oh, we are not giving up. Oh, drop toe hold. Rubbing the face into the mat, and then the elbow. Going for a cover. Kicked out. Dance for red. Oh, going for that cross suplex, a trifecta. Now Vanessa Bourne go right to it. Going for a cover. This could be this could be it. It's over, thanks to Candice LeRae and her interference. Banca Valer is out of here. Now we got a three and two situation. Nikki Cross and Dakota Kai versus Carrie Zane, Candice LeRae, and Vanessa Bourne. Nikki Cross got hung up to dry. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, what? oh no, 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 not the arm. Oh my goodness. Tell you, these women have gotten very vicious here tonight. They know what's at stake here. Oh, Alabama slam. The crowd, oh, fighting out of it. Oh, I'm oh, going for a body splash, but missed. Carries in too tired to capitalize. Oh, got kicked in the face. Oh, spear by Carrie Zane. Is that it? Oh, broke it up in the last possible second. Candice LeRae tried to get involved, but Dakota Kai able to stop it. But now Dakota Kai paying for it. Tag it in, Candice LeRae. Speaking of Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae, of course, the wife of Johnny Gargano, but 
She doesn't want to be known as just the wife of Johnny Gargano. Here comes Vanessa Bourne. She got tagged in. What she got planned here? Oh, using the ropes. Ref doesn't see it. But kick out anybody that could cross. These women are using every trick they can think of to win here tonight. They want to win. You got to believe Shannon Blazer is watching the back. She has to be seeing who she's going to have to face. A takeover. That's a board. Slow and drop. Oh, the person have an arm drag. Snap, stu suplex. Okay, they can crush right across the Dakota Kai. That's the point. Uh, uh, get up. Uh, uh, swinging, neck breaker. Oh, Dakota Kai barely breaking that up. That Dakota Kai is going to pay for it. Both carries it in. That's what trying to go after Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai rolling out of the ring, facing Nikki Cross right now. Something's got to happen. Oh no, Nikki Cross getting thrown out of the ring. To the apron. Oh, rip back into the ring. Oh no, Nikki Cross fighting back. STO running STO. Oh, huge backbreaker. Oh, and that is working that bending that body in half. Oh. Nikki Cross doing, ah, oh, huge headbutt. That may have hurt Nikki Cross more than it hit Vanessa Bourne. But Nikki Cross doesn't care. That's what she does. Snap, suplex. Tagging and cancel LeRae. Oh, drop kick. No drop kick. A oh, close right out of the ring. Remember, false count do count anywhere. So they technically could count here. Oh, Terry's in with that huge spinning kick. Now, Nikki Cross is getting beat up. He's getting double teamed. This can the right guy here. A DDT. Jumping DDT. This could be it. And it is. And now we're down to Dakota Kai. She's the only one left in her team. It's three on one. Can Dakota Kai beat these three women and earn herself a number of tenship? Or will it be too much for her? Dakota Kai fighting, doing all she can. Oh, those kicks, the captain of the team kick. Kicking away at Candice LeRae. Oh, a kick to the head. Candice LeRae fighting back, but no. Dakota Kai. Oh, Candice LeRae flipping out of it. Oh, kick to the head. Oh, powerbomb. Women going back and forth. Uh-oh, the crotch plex. The trifecta crotch plex. This could be it. Kicking out somehow. Dakota Kai still in this. Dakota Kai stealing it. Uh oh, she knows she's in dire straits right now. Three on one situation, but she's trying to do her best. She knows if she wins it, she's going to be the sole number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. But oh, that reverse Frankenstein. This could be it. And it is. Dakota Kai could not hold on. And now we know next week it will be Carrie Zane, Candice LeRae, and Vanessa Bourne in a triple threat match 
to determine the number one contender to Shannon Baszler's title. We started with eight, and now we're down to three. What a match this was. Of course, Lacey Evans won that. Her team may have won, but she's not in the number one contendership match because she got eliminated. What an NXT that match was. Wow. So we know next week it's going to be Candice LeRae, Carrie Zane, and Vanessa Bourne, the number one contendership triple threat match. Winner of that will face Shannon Blazer at TakeOver for the NXT Women's title. What a match that was. What an NXT this was. So we know at TakeOver, it's going to be Pete Dunne, Aleister Black for the NXT Championship. And it'll also be Shannon Blazer versus whoever wins that triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship.